So people who see the title of this video are probably thinking, why in the world would you want to call squirrels to your property? Well, here's the deal. I was sitting in the living room window over here looking out and I saw like four or five squirrels scurrying around here. And I thought to myself, you know, I don't do anything to bring them to the property. They just show up. So they're here anyways. And, and I don't have a huge problem with them in my garden. They will once in a while get in and they like to chew on the strawberries and things like that. But for the most part, they kind of leave it alone. Um, they do minor damage, but nothing major. But uh, I thought, you know, I was sitting in there and I was looking out and I was feeling kind of bad for them because, and yeah, I know they're rodents, right? And we like to keep mice and rats away from our property, but they just don't seem destructive. They don't, they're not like a, uh, you know, they don't get under the house and, and whatnot, getting the duct work and stuff like that. So um, they're not a major nuisance. But so I was feeling compassionate for them, kind of bottom line. And um, it, see, I don't have a lot of nut trees on my property. So why they're hanging out here, um, I, don't, I don't have a lot of pine either. I have pine cones. I mean, I don't really know all the stuff that they eat. But uh, for some reason, they're here. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to kind of satisfy my desire to help take care of them and to also prevent them from getting in my garden. So two birds with one stone. So I decided that I was going to set up a quick... A little feeder for them. So what I came up with now since I know this is going to seem kind of redneck and a little bit ugly but um, this tree here this big fat one is uh, you can't see it from the road you can't see it from really anywhere except well my living room right but I don't care. So uh, I decided I'm just going to put one here. So what I did was I got a hold of let me set that down I just this milk jug well it's not a milk jug I actually had uh, distilled water in it but I took this jug and I just cut a hole in it is what I did. And so this is going to go up against the tree. And then I'm going to put this piece of little cedar in here against it like this. And then I'm going to screw it right to the tree. And they're two and a half inch screws. So they are plenty long to hold this on. Unless some big fat squirrel comes along. Right? <laughs> so anyways, um, hey, look, I even got ventilation for them if, uh, if I want to. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill it and we'll see if this uh, makes them happy. So now I'm going to throw a whole bunch of these walnuts in here. And I don't grow walnuts here on my property, but a friend of ours gave us two huge boxes. And I thought, man, what am I going to do with all these walnuts? And um, so this worked out perfectly. Whoops. So I'm going to throw all these in here, almost all of them in here. <laughs> Look at that. Now you're probably thinking, okay, don't go, <laughs> I'm so stupid. All right, now you're probably thinking that Squirrels actually can't bite through that, but you know, I did a little search online and they actually love walnuts just like that and they can bite through them. They got really sharp teeth. So one last thing to make sure that the squirrels will actually go in here because you know, squirrels, all, all the animals, whatever you try to do when you, they, I think they know when you don't want them somewhere because they will always go to the places you don't want them to. So let's do this. Whoops, I put, I, put, I put an S instead of a Y on stay. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. Okay, so I hope squirrels can read. Squirrels stay out. Watch. Let's see how long it takes before they defy that sign, right? Okay, let's just watch and wait. Mm -hmm. 